Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be playing some more Ark Survival Evolved. Currently on a player versus environment server. But I'm going to be moving over to uh, the expansion aberration. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly go through my in-game settings. Playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160. You can see resolution scale is completely maxed out. Um, so to make sure everything is on epic. But sometimes after updates, they, some of the settings change. And... As you can see, all of these settings are as they are. FOV, I've kind of got that at 50%. I don't like motion blur and I don't really like film grain either. So I'm just going to apply these. Save. Okay, so I'm going to move over some stuff to the server as well as my character. Hopefully everything goes well. So I've got everything I need now. And uh, I'm going to head over to the red obelisk. So this is online, so you will get some rubber banding and you will see assets streaming. It's just the nature of Ark Survival Evolved. Um, if you don't want to experience that, you can play single player where it will always be um, local. So there won't be any latency issues or anything like that. But honestly, Ark is way more fun when you play with other people because you can network and, and you know work together to take on bosses and things like that it's just so much better when you're on like a massive island on your own uh, it's not the mess it's not the most fun but if you just want to play the game for the game it gives you the most uh, best experience in terms of performance so it's a bit of a trade-off there but the rtx 90 for the most part will give you <laughs> that was shocking that was the way that that's streamed in a rumba banded back it's pretty shocking. You get used to it though. For me, it's not as uh, surprising. But for a viewer that hasn't played this game, you'd be looking at that like, what the hell is going on? But that's just generally how things work. As I was about to talk a little bit about performance, RTX 3090 generally will get you 60 frames or over with, with the game completely maxed out. So um, it's pretty much one of the only cards at the moment that will do that for you. Because uh, the game is just ridiculously demanding. I think, I'm trying to think what cards were out when this came out. Um, I'm thinking GTX um, 980, maybe, or even before that, were the cards that are available. And you wouldn't even think of trying to play Ark at 4K. It wasn't even playable. So it is playable now, which is nice to see. Usually, yeah. Load of dinos here, but it seems like there isn't today. Anyway, let's make sure my uh, wyvern hasn't got anything in its inventory. Doesn't. Let me just get out all the dinos that I'm going to be uploading to the server. I haven't got many because I haven't really been playing this game. I kind of just got back into it because um, there was a few videos I need to do. And um, I've never really played any of the expansions, so it'd be an interesting experience for me as well. But that's my Sabre Tooth. I've also got a few others as well. I'm trying to think, did I bring them with me? Oh, true. I've got my Stegosaurus here. This is great for farming all types of um, seeds, um, berries, and that kind of stuff. So it's a good dino to have. And yeah, I've got Ankly Asaurus as well. It's good for farming metal and stone. Okay. I think that is pretty much it. Let me just get my Wyvern on the platform. Hopefully this all goes well because sometimes you can lose stuff, um, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to upload every single one of these. I'm trying to say my Ankylosaurus sword's not ready. I've got 12 minutes with uh, my Sabre Tooth. So all of these can get uploaded. Why doesn't it upload? For whatever reason, it's just not going up. Saying upload button that says, Are you sure you want to upload this creature data? This will lead to destroying your creature losing all its inventory. Obviously, I want to upload it. 
it's fine. It's just not letting me at the moment. And I can't do anything else at the moment until 12 minutes or so. So I've got to wait, which is uh, always nice. So what I'll do is I'll wait 12 minutes and I'll try again. If I bore you guys to death, I'll just skip forward ahead. Okay, so that should have been the 10 minutes now. So I'm just going to double check. See if I can get the show on the road. See if I can upload that. Oh. Huh. Still not letting me upload. Don't make any sense. Okay, what I'm gonna do. I'm going to try another I'm just going to try another obelisk I don't know if there's a glitch right now This is just typical arc Nothing ever works properly Fly to the green obelisk. Let's see if there's a, just an issue with this one. The obelisks are spaced out pretty far away, so it's going to be quite a long trip. But luckily, the wyvern flies faster than most flyers, so uh, should at least be able to get there in a decent amount of time. So yeah, I've only ever played the island. Um, I've played a bit of Ragnarok actually. Um, when it comes to Ark, so those are the only two maps I'm actually familiar with. So there's a lot for me to discover as well. I think the time's right. So let's move over to another map. See, just getting under 60 frames here. This game really pushes your GPU. I remember playing with my RTX 2080 Ti, for whatever reason, uh, this game just didn't like touring you. I used to get so many crashes using the RTX 2080 Ti, uh, even at stop. It wasn't a case of overclocking or anything like that. Um, the game just didn't like it. And I think uh, NVIDIA are aware of the problem as well. nearly here hopefully we'll have some better luck on this obelisk hopefully it's just an issue with the red obelisk and I'll be able to cancel all of my stuff I want to start aberration with a few things I don't want to start from scratch obviously my character will come with me as well I'm literally leaving the server so I want to bring some stuff with me Okay, let's try this again, shall we? That's my Stego. My Saber Cat. And my Ankyosaur as well. Unequal this. Let's give that a try. So my Anglia Soul's not ready, but that's fine. Let's try the other ones. Yeah, still not working. I don't know what's going on with uploading um, teams at the moment. 
I wonder if I put one of my teams in a cryopod, would that help? if you can put it as like a tribute seems like it that might be one way of doing it let's just try putting everything across I'll have like 10 minutes to do this if that's the case Pick my server now. PV official operation. That's fine. So they've actually changed the whole transfer process. Usually you have to upload all your items separately, but you're able to keep what you've got on, which is interesting. Anyway, I need to get my ass to um, the obelisk so I can get my, my creatures back. So I've never been here before, so I don't even know where the nearest one is. Or I can find a drop as well. A drop will be good enough. So... I've got to make a move now, but the performance is looking good. Hallucinating? Why am I hallucinating? I've never been on Aberration before, maybe someone can tell me. <laughs> um, almost. I think you can't just run around like that. It's not good for your health. Yeah, so that's, that's interesting. Some raptors over there. Oh. I do have a spear with me to defend myself, so these raptors when they want to try me, I got something for them. Just need to find a drop or something, just so I can get my stuff back. It's not, it's not too much of a high level, so. Okay. I won that one. Guess you can sprint in spots, but then you gotta stop. Drink some water. Earthquake, what's going on? Absolutely no idea what's going on here. That usually happens. Oh. It's just stuff. So stones just pop up as earthquakes happen. It's interesting.
Hopefully I'm heading in the right direction. I can't really see a sky at the moment, so I've got no idea where the obelisk is. I seem to get thirsty in this place very quickly. This is really hot. Now there's some more uh, predators. I'd rather avoid them if I can help it. I am running out of time in which I can get my stuff back. I'm gonna run past this because I don't want to um, get into any problems with these guys. Man, how do I get down now? Oh, there's a. Uh... Oh, that's someone else's platform. I can't even use that. Okay, there must be a way down here somewhere. There's no water. Some water underneath me here, so I guess I can run and jump. Okay. I worked out. Where to from here? I still can't see any sky. It's like I'm in this massive cave or something. I think I'm just gonna have to uh, accept that I've lost all my stuff, but it's all right. I'll just have to uh, start again. And uh, I'm gonna look around for a drop. If I'm lucky, I'll find one. These massive fireflies. Ah, uh, some more. It's another raptor over there. Rather not fight that if I can help it. It's a big scorpion looking thing. That will tore for me, and I'll just uh. I'll just get killed, so I'm going to avoid that. It's so unusual to walk around the arc and not know where you're going, because I pretty much know the island inside and out, but this place, I've got no idea where I'm going. It seems to be um, a way to get out of here, but you have to go over across these huge bridges. It's getting dark now, so i get my uh, torch out. Yeah, Ark is not the safest place at the best of times, and at night time, it's going to be even worse. really see properly so I'm not going to take any leaps of faith but I should start gathering some food I'm probably going to need to eat soon oh, I almost fell off uh, the side of a cliff here I need to uh, double back on myself all of this glowing stuff. This huge mushroom is glowing. I just hope I don't run into any really, really dangerous predators while I'm trying to find my way around here. There's something lighting up over here though, so maybe... Ah, oh, damn it. That's that rubber banding I was talking about. Sometimes on the server you'll uh, just teleport back to a certain area where you previously came from. Man, that just looks like a really, really high drop. I'm going to have to start building a base at some point. But everyone's got loads of pillars around here so there's nothing I can really do.
I'm curious to see what's down there. It seems like it's all glowing blue. This looks like a high drop. I just need to find a safe way down. Let's go around here. Try and slide down this rock. Uh, I took about half of my health, but I lived. Hmm. What's all of this blue gla gas, this purple gas stuff? It doesn't look safe, so maybe certain dinosaurs are around here. I'm not too sure. I'm going to avoid that for now until I know more. Maybe it's like a gas deposit. Maybe it's like another resource on this game. Interesting there. Why are the obelisks like it's just so not clear where the obelisks are? Like usually in the island or even Ragnarok, you can just look around and you can see where one of the obelisks are, like pretty much from anywhere in the game. But in this place it's just like you're not too sure and the elevation on this level is just ridiculous. It's so so tall. I just hope I survive till morning. Got a little bit of water left, so I need to uh, refill that. Have a look at the map. Yeah, the map's not really useful to me because I haven't even explored this place properly, so um, it's nothing I'm going to be able to see. That's, that's a pretty high drop. I don't know if I'll survive that one. But I could probably jump into the water from here, but it all depends on where will that take me. That's what I'm thinking. I don't even think that's a clear drop into the water from here, to be honest. Yeah, that looks, looks like death. <laughs> okay, let's try and slide down. This is a lot harder in the dark. land in the water. How the hell did I survive that? Great. Somehow survived that. Someone told me how that happened. I'm getting chased now. Some kind of predator. wants a piece of me around here. Take another jump. See if we survive. <laughs> Not this time. So I spawned around here because it was like the easiest place but obviously it doesn't matter. So let's respawn around here again. I just need to build a base. Oh, I've healed my dinos. I'm gonna have to uh, start from scratch. I'm gonna try and build a little base or something. <gasps> right, man, more raptors, and I don't even have anything to defend myself. Stay away from them. What are these things? I don't know if they're uh, 
herbivores or they're uh, carnivores. They look like herbivores. Everything seems to glow in this place. The bulldog, that would be useful actually, just to provide some light. I don't have anything right now. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'll come back with some more gameplay a little later. That was just a quick look at the performance in Arc Survival Evolved Aberration at 4K maximum settings. Uh, hopefully, if you enjoyed the video, guys. And as always, thanks for watching.